good morning to all we already seen in previous video introduction about the git and today we are going to discuss about structure and physiology of stomach for that we want to know first where it is located and how length it is and uh, where what are all the parts is there and the stomach is located in t10 and l3 vertebral segment and it can be divided into anatomical region based on the external landmarks which means uh, the external different different parts of the stomach for that it has four re different region first one is cardia and second is fundus third one is body and fourth one is antrum in this the first region is cardia cardia in the sense see here the bulging of the stomach it's starting and it ending in the esophagus esophagus and the stomach the starting region is cardiac and the fundus is the uh, portion above and to left of the uh, je junction see here the circle indicates the cardiac region and then the fundus region is located in the again circle indicating the fundus region third one is the body or corpus region it is between the fundus and the antrum it it takes a very big portion it is a margin not distinctly external and it has the orbitatory borders last is antrum region it is bounded in the distally by the pylorus which can be appreciated by palpation of the thickened ring of smooth muscles here in this picture uh, there is an ending in the esophagus after that the cardiac region is there and after it goes to the big bulging that is a fundus region and followed by the bulk area that is a body region finally it goes to the antrum region and it uh, goes to duodenum duodenum is the small intestine region see here the upper may, upper portion having the lesser curvature small curving is there but in the beyond portion there is a big curvature is there next in the position of stomach which varies based on the habitus of the body in general it is fixed at the two points in proximally and distally proximally at the j junction and distally at the retroperitoneal duodenum layer next we will see in the different layers which protects the our body from the hcl hcl which is secreted inside the stomach but it it should not damage our tissue because the in depth of the layer is the mucus that mucus or layer is protecting us from the hcl and be, uh, behind that there is a oblique layer and a circular layer longitudinal layers of the muscularis followed by serosa is there next we will see in the vasculature vasculature in the sense uh, which includes the blood supply how the blood supply goes to the stomach which gets the blood supply from the aorta in celiac and it gets from the proper hepatic artery through this it gets the blood supply after blood supply we'll see in the uh, nerve supply in left and right vagus nerves descend parallel to the esophagus within the thorax uh, which is a before forming a periesophageal flexus between the tracheal bifurcation and diaphragm from this flexus to vagus vagal trunks coalesces be before passing through the esophageal hiatus of the diaphragm uh, which is a parasympathetic innervation of stomach it includes vagus nerves 90 percentage of the fiber in vagus trunk is afferent uh, it means it is transmitting from the stomach to cns and uh, which is a sympathetic innervation of stomach splanchnic nerve it is derived from spinal segments of t5 to t10 next one is microscopical anatomy in which first one is glandular portion of the stomach which is lined by the simple columnar epithelium this luminal surface is interrupted at the intervals by gastric pits which is opening into these gastric pits or one or more gastric glands that have functional significances in that the mucosa has three types of gastric glands one is cardiac and auxinic and uh, antral regions 
in that mucosa layer there is a cardia glandus first which is located in the cardia region which contains the mucosa function is secretes the mucus and providing a protective coating for the lining of the stomach next one is oxyntic glands which is the most distinctive features of the stomach which is location is uh, fundus and corpus region which contains many cell types the third one is antral gland which is a gastrin cells and somatostatin cells gastrin which is located in the mucosa of the distal stomach uh, it stimulates the amino acids and the secretions of uh, gastrin gastrin which stimulates the hcl production by the way of parietal cells next one is somatostatin which location is the mucosa of distal stomach plus duodenum it stimulates the hcl or low ph in the duodenum its action is inhibits the gastric emptying and pancreatic secretion and the gallbladder contractions next one is the mic microscopical anatomy of parietal cells and chief cells parietal cells which is located in the neck of the gastric pits which stimulates the acetylcholine histamine and gastrin which secretes the hcl plus uh, intrinsic factors in chief cells which is located based on the uh, base of the gastric pits it stimulates the vagal and which secretes the pepsinogen uh, eventually leads to pepsin digestive enzyme see here that uh, whole shape is called back gastric pit see here the upper side covers the parietal cells that is the next side and the chief cells located in the lower segment we have already seen there is a different different layers is there in the uh, stomach uh, tissues that is a mucus layer and a submucosa and a mucus layer uh, subserosa and serosa layer the la final one is the serosa layer and inside the depth that is through link with the hcl that is called the mucus layer small recall which uh, our stomach has the four regions one is the cardia fundus body and the pylosis region uh, the addition of the inner oblique smooth muscle layer gives the muscularis the ability to vigorously shun and mix the foods fastly with this i finish the uh, stomach structure and the physiology uh, if any doubt you can comment me at any time and uh, the today's question was uh, different regions of the stomach list out that uh, thank you for patient listening